My name is Danae Brissonnet. My family always were really supportive of me in doing art. I had a really beautiful childhood in the mountain, but it was really deep in like a tiny countryside called Saint Beatrix because I was in this tiny town and then I went to Montreal and it was like, oh, wow, this big city. And then I met people that had traveled without any fear and I was like, I was so curious. Well, I finished my art school and then people were like, oh, you can't really live from your art, it's really hard. And then I met the market and it was like this weird gallery market. And I was like, ooh, like, I don't, I'm not sure, like I'm really interested in that. And I left to Vermont in like a puppet community that's called Bread and Puppet. And I met so many people from so many countries. And that was kind of like the beginning of like the whole seven years that like, that I've been painting. I left to Costa Rica, didn't have any money, couldn't speak Spanish. I could make a little money making my paintings, so I decided to go to Nicaragua. So I went to a volunteering that was going into different communities around the town, and we did art with the kids, and then a gallery saw my work, and I started working with them. After a year, a competition of mural was opening in the north of Nicaragua. And I apply and I got chosen. The mural aspect was with this NGO called uh, Acción Contra el Hambre. They wanted us as an artist to work with the community. So I had like five uh, young guys that had lived different traumas, either the mafia, the civil war, and we win the first prize. I was 20 at that time and that was like what kind of like created my whole passion for traveling. If I can share, I can paint, I can teach. So I'm just gonna like give all my energy to the people. I just got an invitation from this festival that's one of the biggest uh, street art festival in all the Caribbean and it's called Santurce Esley and they invited me to paint a mural for their festival and I was super super excited. I want to make a mural for these people and like for what they've been living through also. <laughs> Claro que sí. Ok, ustedes están haciendo el boceto de la pintura. Ustedes van a pintar todo eso, por eso es que quiero que sea grande. Eso papi es tan lindo, mi amor, pero lo tienes que hacer más grande. Esto es un delfín, lo puedes hacer más grande aquí, como así. O uno otro acá, que salga. I started to do this style with the kids where the kids do their drawing and then I integrate them inside of a character or inside of a creature. I'm fascinated by what they make and it's always a surprise. This moment that I like really get to know people, get to like experience like like just experience the country I am in now in Puerto Rico and I like I can see like the imagery of people like it's of the kids and it's great and I think it's really important for them to to also see their art inside of something bigger and I think this this is really inspiring young people and even me just getting into this crazy world of like it just turns and goes super fast and then your own poesy get lost also with all the social media all the like I call it like dust there's just so much dust that it's really important to find a way to calm down and find a way to like re-reach what's inside and what's like real because there's a missing of realness right now and I think it's really important for anybody that's doing art 
to ask yourself, what's real for me? Am I doing that for myself? Or am I doing that for the people to watch me? And I think that makes a big difference of how your work will look like.